What is up guys, Showing Up The King here, bringing you another video, I said I'd do it, I actually realized that the video that I uploaded about My Hero Academia, it, you know, it did well for me, I, I love this format, so I'm going to keep doing it, so it just so happens that uh, today is was a uh, Nintendo Direct for Pokemon exclusively. So it was about 10 minutes, and it and, and again, this is there's been hype for uh, Nintendo and this this new Switch for for months, months, years. You know, this new console, I don't own it. It's the uh, only Nintendo product that I don't own right now, and I won't buy it. Uh, there's a reason for that because again, I'm not too happy with Nintendo right now. I feel like. Nintendo has it has a, a, a documented history of screwing over their core base, and I feel like Nintendo fans are quick to defend Nintendo when they do dumb shit, and I don't want to keep being a part of that. Like I keep hearing these uh, these pundits, these guys telling people to vote with their wallets, and that's what I'm doing because I honestly believe that Nintendo isn't doing the right thing with the Switch, and they're not doing right by the people who purchased that god awful Wii U. Me being one of them. Now, the thing that I have, the thing that I have, the biggest issue that I have with Nintendo is that they are quick to port shit. Like they don't work on content. You get 50 ports before you get one brand new original IP, and that shit pisses me off. So this Nintendo Direct, they announced. You know, we're thinking that they're going to announce. And again, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Like, I didn't. I didn't expect. I didn't expect them to announce a new, new Pokemon IP because I would hope that they would announce that at E3, considering that it's starting next week. But I didn't expect them to announce a port because if you were literally just bringing out a port of fucking uh, Pokemon Tournament and uh, Hyper Pokemon X and I mean Pokemon Sun and Moon or whatever the fuck it's called. You, you didn't need a Pokemon Direct for that. You could have let out a press release and just sent that shit to IGN and then just released a video on YouTube. You didn't need to make this big announcement acting like it's a new IP. You, I mean, like, why? Why hype it up and you know that this is not news that no one wants to hear? No one gives a fuck about uh, po Pokemon Tournament. Yes, it was a decent game on the Wii U. I played it, but I got bored with that game after like a couple of hours, I look like I get I get games through GameFly. GameFly to me prevents me from buying a game that I end up hating. I buy it, I play it. If I like it, I buy it at a discount. And if I don't like it, I send that shit back. And that's exactly what happened with um, Pokemon Tournament. I got it. The combat was too sim simplistic, and it just didn't do it for me. If you watch a video of Pokemon Tournament, the game looks great. The, the graphics are great. I wish there was a Pokemon game that looked just like a Pokemon Tournament. But once you actually get into the gameplay, it's not, it's definitely not something that could be an eSport. I'll tell you that. Like, the, the characters look great. The moves look great. But again, it's just not fun. It's not, to me, it wasn't competitive enough for me to want to play that game on a regular basis. It just wasn't. So, for them, but again, in Nintendo's brain, they're like, oh, you know what? We got to keep giving them games. Hey, you know that Wii U system that we had that fucking sucked? Let's just keep giving them ports from that game because, hey, we want to get another bite of that cookie. We want to keep trying to sell it. And again, I'm not saying that Nintendo shouldn't do this. What I'm saying is, is that you need to be releasing new IP, build up a fucking core base, and then you start bringing out ports. I... How do you think people would feel if they were if, if PlayStation 3 came out and the second that PlayStation 4 released, they were already giving you a, um, a Last of Us uh, remastered edition? People would lose their shit. I would lose my shit. Like, at the very least, you could have done something for the people who bought the original Pokemon Tournament on that bullshit ass Wii U, not sit there and try to make a port of it and then just be like, hey, and you know how you guys had that shit on the Wii U? How about you buy it again? Come on, you know we need that money. That's it. Nintendo has a documented history of selling the same fucking games five and ten times over. Go look at it. Look at how many times 
uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time has been remastered digitally for the uh, for the 3DS, for the Wii, for the Wii U. You're gonna probably get another version of it on the Switch. It's like, and oh, that's the other thing. Let me break away from this uh, Pokemon rant that I'm almost doing. Let's talk a little bit about uh, a few of the topics about Nintendo right now. So, Nintendo said that they were going to have their new online system up and running by the end of the, uh, by summertime, I believe. And they just recently announced that they won't be able to hit that date and that they're pushing their online service back to 2018. 2018! And the only thing they announced that it's going to be 20 bucks a year. Now look, 20 bucks a year at its at its face value doesn't sound like a lot when you compare it to uh, gold, when you compare it to a PlayStation Plus. But here's the caveat. Nintendo never charged for their online services before. And you know why? Because they didn't. it was always bare bones. So why would I pay $20 a year for something that you weren't going to up? You're not going to actually give us anything. Like, they're saying they're going to give you, like, uh, free Nintendo games to, to, to rent. You're not even going to own those shits. Let's keep, let's not even forget the fact that they're going to give you old-ass Nintendo Mario, and it's not even like you're going to own that game. You're going to be able to play it for 30 days, and you can decide whether or not you want to buy it. Now, my whole thing is, and again, I'm calling this shit right now. I promise you, when they actually um, outline their uh, online services... People are going to be pissed, and this this is the cycle of Nintendo. They overpromise, they underdeliver, they apologize, and then people eat that shit up and just say, "Well, it's Nintendo. Let's just keep moving on and just forget about everything else they did." I, I'm I'm telling, I'm calling it right now. Nintendo is not going to give you back uh, backwards compatibility because they make too much money off of ports. Why would they give you games for free when they can just charge you full value for it? You guys are going to fucking pay for it. They're not going to let you transfer your old games from the Wii U. They're not going to let you transfer all your virtual games from the Wii U, the Wii, none of it. The three, none of it. I guarantee you, you're going to have to buy that shit all over again. And everybody's been complaining. They're saying the one thing they want from this new online service is we want to be able to keep the games that we've already bought digitally. We want to keep the games that we've already bought digitally. You don't want to have to buy them again. And I promise you, they're going to announce that shit. They're going to come up with some bullshit-ass reason. People are going to make a fuss about it, and they're going to be like, oh, it's Nintendo. It's not a big deal. And then it's going to go into full spin mode, and all these fucking Nintendo fans are going to be like, no, no, no. We didn't want to have to pay for our games. It's okay because it's Nintendo. All these people from fucking IGN and this fucking Nintendo voice chat, these guys are going to sit there and make excuse after excuse after a fucking excuse like they always do. Because for some reason, people are afraid to talk bad about Nintendo to get on their bad side. Fuck that. It's not your guys' job to fuck there and sit there and fucking kiss the ass of Nintendo. You're supposed to give give the your opinion unfiltered. I'm not saying you don't have to be disres- you have to be disrespectful about it, but don't sit here and try to kiss ass because I hate that. I'm like, say what you mean. If you don't like that shit, call them out on it. Just like you guys do for the just like you guys do for Sony, just like you guys do for Microsoft. Period. I'm not sitting here saying that they're infallible either because for the longest time I didn't own the fucking uh, uh, Xbox One. When the Xbox One came out and they were talking about that always online and all this other bullshit, I went on a straight boycott of Microsoft for like two years. Would not pick up a, a Xbox One. All I had was PlayStation 4. Because I, again, I, I'm at the point in my life now where I'm voting with my wallet. I'm not just going to give my money to these people because they give me some subpar fucking bullshit. Like, if I don't like what you're doing, I'm not going to support you. Bottom line. I don't give a fuck who you are. And again, I'm not a, I'm not a big YouTuber. I have like 500 subscribers. I'm not going to sit here and just try to be like, oh, well, you know, in the future, if I get big, I, I don't want Nintendo to go back and look at this video and say, oh, that guy didn't, didn't talk great about our products. So we're not going to. I don't care. All I'm going to do, all, again, I buy my shit. I'm not one of these people that get free games and get all this, like, review copies and shit like that. I own every single major uh, uh, video game hardware there is. I have PlayStation VR, I have Xbox One, PlayStation 4, all of that shit. I bought with my own hard-earned money. And I talk about that shit because I enjoy it. It's my hobby. I love it. And I'm just going to give you my unfiltered review on if I like it, I'm going to talk about it. If I hate it, I'm going to call you out on that shit. And again, right now, what Nintendo doing is bullshit.
It was bullshit with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's bull... And again, these people talking about ARMS... Don't even get me started on ARMS. But again, that's it. I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes. And I've gone on in 10, over 10 minutes. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think what Nintendo doing is great? Do you want to defend them? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, thumbs up the video if you could. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Show off the king. Check you later.